Yo, what's up mga parikoy? For this video, ang pag-uusapan po natin ay law of sign sa ating previous videos na pag-usapan natin doon ang solution ng right triangles. So for this video, law of sign will be applied to solve for solution of oblique triangles. By definition, oblique triangles are uh, is a triangle without a right angle. So what, what does the law of sign state? It states that in a triangle where we have the angles, we have the angles A, we have the angles A, B, and C, uh, and the side of that is the small letter A, that's B, that's C. It states that the law of sine is A over sine A is also equal to the ratio of B over sine B, which is also equal to C over sine C. So this equation will help us solve when we have oblique triangles to find a known angle or an unknown side. So Basically guys, meron tayong dalawang cases. Dalawang cases kung saan pwede natin itong ma-apply sa mga oblique triangles because at most, hindi lahat ng oblique triangles ay magagamit natin itong law of sine. What are the two cases? First case is the side-side angle. Side-side angle case guys, given a side, given two sides, and given an angle. Pero dapat take note na when na dapat may magkaparehas tayo ng letter. For example, ang given na angle is angle C. Angle C, no? Dapat, sa dalawang side na to, we have the side C also. Kasi kapag this is angle C, this is side A and this side B, we cannot use law of sine to solve that. To solve the certain oblique triangle. Next case po natin is the case given one side and two angles naman. And the same with the case 1, dapat at least may nakaratio na the same ng letter sa side at sa angle. So for example, we have the given side is, let's say, side A. Dapat sa dalawang angle natin na daw, at least andito rin yung angle A. And maybe this, this, this is angle B. Okay? Kasi kapag walang magkaratio, walang magkaparehas, law of side is not applicable for that oblique triangle. We will need to use another law, that's law of cosine, which we will discuss in another problem, in another video. So for now, let's try solving that. Solving problems involving uh, law of uh, sine. So first of all, kailangan natin i-draw yung ating, ob ating oblique triangle. This is side A, this is side B, this is side C, this is A. Joke lang. This is A, this is B, this is C. Alright, so let's input the values. A is 49 degrees. 49 degrees. Well, positive with that is the side which is 7. And also, this is B which is 8. So basically, yung mapasin nyo, given two sides in an angle, this is the case side-side angle. And we can apply law of sine kasi we have same um, ratio of same side and angle which is angle A and side A. So to solve that, first pwede natin mahanap ngayon is yung angle B. We can first solve for angle B since na, meron na tayong side B. So to solve for that, we will be using the law of sine. Law of sine, that would be sine, that would be A over sine A would be equal to B over sine B. Solving that, substituting values, simplifying that would be 7 over Sine 49 would be equal to B, which is 8, over sine, sine B. Okay, so let's just, let's cross multiply. That would be equal to sine B, 7, sine B is equal to 8, sine 49. Devote, divide both sides by 7, divide both sides by 7. Sine B would be equal to 8, sine 49, over 7. And to solve for the... Angle B, we will use the inverse, which will be arc sine. So that would be B, would be equal to the arc sine, sine of negative 1, of 8 sine 49 over 7. So that's how to simplify, to solve for the angle B. For this problem, I would round it off to whole numbers para hindi mapahaba yung solution natin. But for uh, exercises or problems, it's I prefer to go to get the minutes, degrees, and seconds para mas accurate po yung sagot natin. So for this, I would round that off to 60 degrees. So we know that angle B now is 60 degrees. Next now to do is to solve for the angle C and the side C. Pero kung mapapansin nyo, ni, ni isa dito, wala, wala tayo. But let us remember that the 
sum of the all sides of the triangles equal to 180 degrees. So since we have angle A and also we have angle B, so the sum of this minus 180 would be the value of our angle C. So doing that, that would be 60 plus 49 minus natin yung 180. Ibig sabihin, the value of angle C would be equal to 71 degrees. So this angle C is 71 degrees. Now we are now left with side C. So to solve for that, let's use again the sine formula. So meron tayong two options, either to use the ratio of the B or to use the ratio of the A. I prefer using the ratio of the A kasi ito yung original given. Mas makakakuha tayo ng accurate na sagot kapag ito yung gagamitin natin because we have the ratio of the A. So to do that, that would be sine A, that would be this joke lang, A over sine A is equals to C over sine C. So A natin guys is 7 over sine A, that would be sine 49, is equals to C, that's unknown, over sine 71 degrees. Okay, let's find some space here. Okay, let's continue. So, let's, let's cross, mul mul cross multiply. 7 sine 71 is equals to C times sine 49. Transpose natin yung 49 sa kabila. Then C would be equal to 7 sine 71 over sine 49. Solving that, that would be equal to equals to eight, approximately eight point sixty eight point seventy six or less round that of the nine. Okay, so just to get uh shorter answers, but again I prefer get up to up to four decimal points or at least three para mas more accurate yung sagot natin. So since that's nine, we know that this side is nine. Okay, guys. So how will we somehow check if we got the, the correct answer? So there's a way of checking that. First of all, check natin guys. Dapat, yung opposite ng largest angle is the largest side. Yung opposite ng lowest angle should be the lowest side. So the, the smallest side, I mean. So ibig sabihin, this is 49, 60, and 71. 71 is the largest. So dapat, opposite that is the largest side also. Which is tama, 9, because we have the side 7, 8, 9. 9 is the largest, ibig sabihin tama yung sagot natin. The lowest is lowest angle is 49 and opposite that is the smallest side also, that's 7. So basically, uh, doing that, we can now uh, tell that our answer is somehow correct. Pero kapag yung opposite ng 71 degrees na to ay naging maybe 4 or 5, magduda ka na sa sagot mo, baka may mali ka sa process and... You need to redo it again because that would be very wrong if the opposite of the largest side is the smallest one, right? So let's try the case 2 naman. Okay, again, solving for this case, unang gawin natin, let's, let's check first if we have, this is given kasi is, given kasi guys is a side angle angle. So this is SAA, tama. So first, let's draw our... Uh, oblique triangle. So let's just name that A. That's, that's B and that's C. That's side A. That's side B. That's side C. Okay, let's uh, put off the given. So the given natin, A is 38 degrees. C natin, guys, is 67 degrees and angle A and side C, I'm sorry, is equals to 10. So we can use the law of sign here by because meron tayong ratio ng dalawang similar na uh, yung letter C, the angle C and the side C, alright? So, first thing na pwede nating ma-solve dyan is yung angle B. We can solve for angle B because we know that the sum of the three sides is equal to 180 and because we have two sides, we can now solve for the angle B. So, solving for the angle B, that would be B is equal to 180 minus yung sum ng dalawang side which is 67 plus 38. Solving that, 67, 67 plus 38 is equals to 105 minus 180, that's 75 degrees. 75 degrees. So we know, guys, we now write our answer. Let's use yellow. I like yellow. This is 75 degrees. So we have now angle A, angle B, and angle C. We are left with side B and side A. So we can use now... Uh, 
the law of sign. So I prefer using first is yung given para mas accurate yung sagot natin. That would be sine. That would be C over sine C is equals to, okay, let's choose A or B. Okay, because A is in first in the alphabet, let's choose A. That would be A over sine A. So solving that, substituting values, C is 10. Sine C, that's sine 67, is equals to A natin, that's unknown. But we know the angle A, which is 38 degrees. So let's, uh, I will transpose sine 38 sa kabila para ma-isolate natin yung A. So, A would be equal to 10 times sine 38 divided by sine 67 degrees. So, using our calculator, that would be equal to, along siya ng 6.68 or let's just round that off to 7. Okay? Joke lang, let's use equal to 7. Okay. So, now let's solve for side B. Okay, again, let's use the given, which is C, yung ratio na yan. That would be equal to C over sine C is equals to B over sine B. Okay, C is equals to 10, that's given. Sine C, that's sine 67. B is unknown. The angle B is equal to 75 degrees. So, solving that, para makuha yung B, isolate ko lang. That would be equal to 10 times sine 75 over sine 67. So the answer for angle B, 10 point, that would be equal to 10.49. I will round that off. That's uh, 0.5. So that's B is equals to approximately 11. Okay, so let's input the data. So this is B is equals to 11. So since we have all the values, let's do some checking kung tama ba yung mga naging sagot natin. Again, I said a while ago, dapat the largest, the opposite of the largest angle should be the largest side. So what is the largest angle? This is 38, 75, 67. This is the largest angle, 75. Opposite with that is 11. Is 11 the highest? Yes, tama. 11 is the highest. Okay, next, what's our lowest angle? That's 38. Opposite with that is 7. Is 7 the lowest side? 7, 11, 10? Yes, definitely. So ibig sabihin, at most cases, nasa malapit na tayo sa tamang sagot. This, this can be the final answer. Alright? So that's it for the law of sine. Again, as I want to emphasize that we have two cases, side-side angle and the side angle-angle. And dapat at least merong magkaparehas na nag nagka-ratio which is maybe side A and angle A or maybe angle A, angle B I mean and side B. We need that to solve for the law of sine. Pero kung hindi yan uh, lumabas sa mga given, Law of sine is not applicable. We will need to use law of cosine. We will discuss that in our next video. And sa ating next video, pag-uusapan natin ang ambiguous case. Kung ano man ambiguous case na yan, we will try to figure that out. If you have some problem, comment it down below and try, we will try to solve that. Bye-bye.